Hello, readers. How are you? Welcome back. Today, Detective Dog is back to read with us. And remember, Detective Dog, he, like any good detective, is always looking for little things. He uses his magnifying glass and he looks in big words to try to find little words inside of it. And it says here, look for little words inside big words to help you read it. And that's true. Sometimes we find little words and it's like, oh my gosh, now I know what the word means. Sometimes it doesn't help us understand what it means, but it does help us read it. Let's go into Raz Kids and practice using the detective dog strategy. Okay, let's see. All right, here I am in Raz Kids. Gosh, what should I read today? Oh, making salsa might be good because it's like a how to book. Yeah, that could be good. What else do we have here? Oh, this one might be good because this one, wash your hands. That's something we have to do a lot right now, isn't it? So why don't we do wash your hands? Already listened to it and now it's time to read it. Okay. Wash your hands. Now let's see, inside the word your, if I hide the R, I can see the word you. That's a snap word you might know, you. But if I say you, er, it doesn't make a word that makes sense, right? So sometimes detective dog helps us find words and that makes a silly word. And that's okay, so you have to be a careful reader. What makes sense? Look, here's the little word and inside of hands that helped me read the word hands. Wash your hands. Wash your hands, written by Sarah Goosen. Okay, let's see. Wash your hands. Hmm. Hey, look, there's some words inside of here. B E says. B, yeah, B, you can help me with this, B. Oh, there's another little word, F-O-R, or. There's another little word, B, for, you eat. That makes sense. Wash your hands before you eat. Wash your hands after you, oh, there's a blend, S-N, Ease. Wash your hands after you sneeze. Wash your hands after you, gosh, what's this word? I know U-S, if I hide that E, that U-S says us. Us E? Oh, maybe it's a magic E. It's telling the U to say you. Use, that makes more sense. Wash your hands after you use the Oh gosh, here's a really big word. Now I bet many of you are saying, but Miss Lisa, use your, just use the picture. Of course, use your picture power. We can see that little boy's in the bathroom, of course. But have a look at the word. You see there's the word bath and room together. There's two words, Detective Dog found two words, bath and room, bathroom. Okay, wash your hands after you dig. Gosh, it sure would be nice to go out and dig, wouldn't it? Wash your hands after you. Hmm. Hey, I see the word in here. I ends as in. Let me see. P a int. P a int. Does that sound like a real word? Oh, no, you're telling me it's paint, of course. Use your picture power, paint. See, sometimes Detective Dog helps us, and sometimes it makes us say a silly word, but you just keep trying. Wash your hands after you pet a dog. Oh, what a cute doggy. Wash your hands after you pull... Hey, look, there's the word lay, and with a P at the front, play. Wash your hands after you play. Wash, oh, there's a blend, F-R, fr-aunt, fr-aunt. 
I see on in there, but I don't know. For on wash, I'm going to use Skippy Frog here. Wash and back. Oh, like front and back. Wash, there's the word be, be t ween between your there's in inside of the, that word, f in, f in -gers. Oh, fingers too. That makes sense. I'm going to reread this so it sounds smoother. Wash front and back. Wash between your fingers too. You see, readers, if you spend a lot of work on the words, trying to figure them out, that's great. But then you want to go back and read it so it sounds nice and smooth like a storyteller. Great. All right, readers. Today you don't have to record your reading up here, but of course you can if you want to. All right. Everyone needs to log into Raz Kids now. And today, really try to use Skippy Frog and Detective Dog finding little words in big words. All right, readers. Off you go.